All right, now that we have our net electric field and both of our uh, uh, individual fields, let's go ahead and calculate our voltages. Well, as you can see up at the top, voltage is kq over r, and there's no, um, there's no absolute value signs. So it can be positive and negative. Negative charges have negative voltages around them. Positive charges have positive voltages around them. Well, we could do this by brute force. Let's do that the first time. V for the first one, for this negative 6 microcoulomb, equals K, 9 into the 9, negative 6, E to the minus 6, divided by 1, 2, 3, E to the minus 3. It just turns out that these all match. That was not intentional by me. Um, well, we can do this with a calculator or we can just see that um, 3 goes into 9 3 times. That's gone. This takes out 3 of those, leaving a negative 3 here. 3 times 6 gives me negative 18 e to the 6th. And since this is 1, since this is 1.8 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6th, this gives me negative 1.8 times 10 to the seventh joules per coulomb. So now let's go ahead and move, and I'm going to uh, move this over here. Oh, actually, let's show you the easy way of doing this. If you'll notice that electric field has an R on the bottom, has two, has an R squared on the bottom, and this only has an R. In other words, if I multiply by R here, one of the R's cancel. Well, let's go ahead and do it that way now. So it turns out that voltage equals E times R, or R times E. It's irrelevant which way we do that. Only we have to remember that it's going to be negative. So I'm just going to throw that in. E is 6E to the ninth times R, which is 3E to the minus 3. And that gives me negative 18 E to the 6 which is exactly what we have down below, 1.8. Wow, that doesn't want to draw right. 1.8 times 10 to the seventh joules per coulomb. And there's no direction because it's a scalar. Well, let's go down here and do the same thing, and let's use the easy way. So that's going to equal ER, which is this, 4.5 e to the ninth times 1, 2, 3, 4, e to the negative 3. Well, four to, or 2 times this would give me 9, times another 2 gives me 18, e to the 6th. Oh, hmm, isn't that interesting? We have a positive 1.8, e to the 7th joules per coulomb. And voltage is added in this way. Your net voltage, which we can write like this, adding up all the voltage, or net voltage, equals V1 plus V2 dot dot dot. So we add them together just like any other scalar, like energy or like masses. Direction doesn't matter. And it should be obvious that 1.8 e to the seventh minus 1.8 e to the seventh equals zero joules per coulomb. What that actually means physically, we'll talk about here in a little bit. Let me go ahead and clean this up and we'll continue on.